Hey, what's up my Sonic friends? It's me, Sonic Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to make working fans, and you can also use these working fans to give you a little boost. Now, I don't really like people talking throughout the whole video, or what I mean is, I don't like how the start of the videos are usually two minutes of me talking, so let's just get right into it. So what you'll need is an air vent and neo tilted prop galleries, or just a single gallery. So just throw them both at one side, because you don't actually get them mixed up. Uh, the stuff that you'll need or to make a working vent obviously you'll need a vent or you can use whatever you want I just say that the uh, vent is better because if you want oxygen coming out of bathtub then sure but it's more or less advised to get a vent so I've made an example of a house here we won't need any of these so let's just get these away shall we Okay, so what you all need to do is make sure that it's in the right angle for you, and if you want, uh, you, if you want, you can make it poke out a bit. So some, some of that, and I'll just keep going slowly down until. until the top part pokes out there's an example but that ain't probably gonna work so let's just get one of the wall ones because I find it better doing of the wall ones than any other ones so if you want it uh, your own way so it doesn't stick out I would advise turning off grid snap so then it doesn't poke out as much like that now after you've done that after you find like uh, this is uh, this is good for you so it's not poking out all the way and you can just see a bit of the vent now whatever suits you but this is how I like my vents to look like how they just poke out what you only need now is the actual animation for the the oxygen on the vents uh, so to make it to a strong type what you want to do is make it make it uh, well don't do anything with it other than turn it sideways and you'll see that you've got a strong current vent which still works but if you want just a vent that blows just a tiny bit what you want to do is shrink it down all the way and just and just put it like so now you see you get that just that tiny bit of oxygen coming out though if you want it uh, just a tiny bit stronger though this may push you if you go near it you can do this so yeah let's just uh, Let's just leave this here while we go into the next one, shall we? To make a uh, booster without knowing that the big fan's there, but also showing the fan animation, what I would advise you getting is one of these fans. Though any fan works, as I said, it does not matter as long as if it's big enough for the fan in general. So let's say you want to make a booster to get up on top of this, to get on top of let's say this building here. But you want to, but you want to make sure nobody really notices this, like a secret. You don't add tires because it doesn't fit your theme, and you and you have uh, full of building houses. What you want to do is just shrink it all the way down. And if you just put it inside like that, uh, I think I've m I've messed up a bit. This one you can I would advise using grid snap on, 
it would just help. So as you see, the vent is coming out from here, and we can jump on it. It will be jump. I don't know if I am the founder of this. I was just messing around with these things, and I accidentally had the idea of doing it. If you do want it to not be drop, just put it further down like so. So you do get a tiny bit of oxygen, but it won't be drop. You can also, as I said, use this for stuff that's, that shouldn't be used for, basically. <laughs> It's better off just not failing because it's hard to get these out. So as you see, the fan for this still works like normal. So if you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make uh, little vents or just little jump in secret spots, please like the video. And if you want more little secret tips like this, um, please consider subscribing because I might make more. And if you don't subscribe, you might not be able to see this type of uh, tricks or different types that may help you when you make a map. So, thanks for watching. And goodbye.